So I'm Bill Eymanen. I'm from Reindex, and I'm going to talk about rapid prototyping with Relay, or more generally, just uh, building products quickly and iterating them on them fast. Um, so I'm going to talk about the uh, stack of tools uh, that I ended up for this. But uh, first, I'm going to uh, tell a bit how I ended, ended there. So uh, this is how a stack for an app that I was working on a year ago looked like. As you can see, we were using uh, React on the front end, which turns out to be very awesome for rapid iteration. Uh, most of the design even was done directly on React components. We were using Flux, and uh, then uh, the front end used REST to talk with the back end. That was like a really state of art, built with microservices and uh, all that stuff uh, by a separate team. Uh, so building React components was fast, uh, but uh, working on this back end was not. So every time we had to build a new feature, it took a lot of time. And it was, since the backend was built by a separate team with different tools, there was also like a lot of communication overhead uh, to uh, communicate the requirements for the backend. So we replaced the backend with the backend as a service. Uh, Firebase, as uh, that uh, Thomas talked about earlier. And we also used uh, another service called Algolia, which is like a search as a service. And this was very, very nice because it allowed uh, the product people, like the product developers, to build everything for a single feature. And it allowed us to move faster. But once this bottleneck was removed, we uh, noticed that there was another one in the middle uh, because writing all the flux stores for different kinds of data and using REST to uh, REST APIs to synchronize it was not was not ideal. And and as as uh, Thomas mentioned in the Firebase talk, uh, there were there were multiple round trips uh, required, and we had the same problem. And uh, so a solution uh, to the problem in the middle. Uh, was came from uh, developers at Facebook. When early this year they started talking about Relay and GraphQL, and GraphQL is a query language and a type system that lets the server expose its capabilities, and then the client can query uh, the server the data that it needs. And then uh, Relay is a library for React that lets you. Uh, describe these data needs in React components, and it will handle fetching it for you. Uh, but then uh, the question was, what shall we use as backend? Because Firebase doesn't support GraphQL. Uh, so that's uh, when I said that if uh, someone doesn't build this, we're going to need to build this ourselves. So uh, me and my co-founder uh, quit doing client projects and uh, build a GraphQL backend as a service called Reindex. And the way that it works uh, is that it allows uh, you to uh, build, build fast because you know, I wanted something that's as easy to set up as Firebase. Uh, and, uh, but it also should allow you to change things without breaking things. So uh, once you move past like the first prototype, it should be possible to to evolve the application without without breaking stuff. And GraphQL can help with this because it has a schema that uh, uh, that tells you if you're trying to get the field that doesn't exist or trying to put something in the database uh, that's invalid. And this is how you uh, use it. You just install a command line tool. Uh, you write a, a schema in this kind of uh, JSON format. 
And then you just push it to the server, and the, and the GraphQL API gets created for you. And then you can start making queries. Like, this is a tool called Graphical, which is very nice. Like, this is for uh, all the events in Reactive Conference. And uh, there was a, a contest to build an app for Reactive Conference. And actually, one developer used uh, this stack that I just told about uh, to build an app. Uh, and this is with, done with React Native. This is, like, this is pretty awesome. Uh, you can find the uh, uh, code for this in GitHub. Uh, thank you.